Gresham. And this is my power play that I made with a few other people. And first, before I cover this power point, I want to talk just a little bit about myself with my business card. Professional at arts, music, and PowerPoints from the Britney at Good Art Music Company. Go to www.britgoodatartmusic.com to see more. I've worked with my boss and my sidekicks to make this desert PowerPoint. Save any questions to the end. At Britney Good Art Music Inc. Also by Emily Harper. This is especially made for Sheila Hutchins. My company number is 770 900 Ashford Park at 700 Street is my company location. 678-339-BWIT is my phone number. Now let's carry on with my PowerPoint. Desert Plants and Animals by me, of course, Brittany, Emily, Michael, and Anderson. And the gender is basically what I'm going to be talking about during this wonderful PowerPoint. Desert animals, plants, climate, food change, general facts, pictures, and environmental threats. And here are some desert animals. Armadillo lizard, bandit gila monster, bobcat, cactus reen, coyote, desert bighorn sheep, and the kangaroo rat. Some, some more desert animals are the desert tortoise, javelina, cactus fern camp family owl, soaring de desert toad, soaring perkhorn antelope, and the thorny devil. And here's some examples of plants. Bell cactus, brittle bush, cane fruit chola, creedside bush, crimson hedgehog cactus, desert ironwood, and the jossa tree, which you might be familiar with because you've heard, probably heard it in the Bible. And jumping cola. And here's my climate. In the desert is hot, horrible, and life-changing. The average temperature temperature in the desert is 64 degrees Fahrenheit. In the winter, there are small showers about once a week, but in the desert, winters don't last long. There are a few animals that can survive in the desert. Some are nocturnal, some live underground. Based on what I just said, do you want to live in the desert with your dead hot But seriously, do you want to live in the desert? And here's some general facts. Some plants store water in the leaves. Most animals in the desert have light colored fur. To survive, some animals are cold blooded. Not much rain falls in the desert. There are some rainfall that, that falls in the winter, like I said in the video, about once a week. It is dead hot in the desert. Most plants have small leaves. Here's the food chain. So the fox is at the top of the food chain, and the, and the fox eats the hawk. The hawk eats the snakes. The snakes eat rodents. The rodents eat a lizard. The lizard eats bugs, and the bugs eat plants, which is at the very bottom of the food chain. And here is some examples of some non-living components, some you might be used to. Sand, rocks, water, mountains, and of course, air. Pictures. This is a lizard. This is a plant. This is a regular desert, maybe in about Arizona. Here, this is a fox. And this, this is a very hot desert. Some people call it a real desert. And here are environmental threats. Mm, mm, mm. Animals eating other animals, the hotness, the pollution, an extinct animal, dead plants, humans, and of course, the weather. Thank you. So I would like to thank you for listening to my PowerPoint, and thank you for coming. I support you too.